2008 Chrysler Aspen how to do a upper control arm and ball joint you take this nut you loosen that but before you loosen that nut you take an 18 millimeter you take this nut off you take this nut off on this one back here you pop these bolts out you pop this bolt out then come down here you loosen this nut take it off and then you take a sledgehammer and you hit this from down below coming up and you pop this up out of there and then you slide the new one back in that's how you do it on a 2008 chrysler aspen as for a tie rod end on it it's up in there you just take the top nut off before you do that break this nut loose and then you unscrew this outwards like that and it'll come off this is the new one going back on again this is a 2008 chrysler aspen if you have any questions you can uh feel free to leave a comment or uh you can get a hold of me on facebook go ahead and search my shop page it's called lucas lucas county auto mechanic again that is lucas county auto mechanic or www.facebook.com slash king david auto mechanic that's facebook.com slash king david auto mechanic that is k-i-n-g d-a-v-i-d a-u-t-o m-e-c-h-a-n-i-c facebook.com slash king david auto mechanic or just search my shop page name and that is lucas county auto mechanic or my personal page on facebook is david king again that is how you do an outer tie rod on a 2008 chrysler aspen that's how you do a upper control arm with the ball joint this other ball joint is down here that's the lower one with the lower control arm um, usually when the upper control arm and the ball joint goes bad or the lower ball joint goes bad or the uh, tie rod end goes bad the joint you'll hear it clanking when you hit bumps or uh, when you turn your steering wheel left to right you'll hear it clink 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 